Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you shorting in ASP.NET. So uh, the basic uh, algorithm behind the short uh, shorting is uh, ascending and descending order. Uh, if your data is in ascending order, then uh, save your uh, uh, something in the view data as a descending. So uh, the string uh, you can take any parameter in a, in your action method name that is the short order. So the different uh, value will saved in the view data. So the view data is the name order. Um, any name you can take in the view data also. So view data a name order, and you can check uh, the short order value. If your short order value is nothing, then uh, you can save uh, name descending uh, anything. Uh, that is a string dot is uh, null or empty. So default the short order is the null or empty. That is the value is true. Condition becomes true uh, here. String dot is null or empty for the first time. Short order is null. So the condition becomes true. Uh, so the view data name order uh, uh, variable can hold a name descending string. Otherwise, if uh, short order have some values, then uh, name order view data hold nothing uh, or you can say that uh, empty string so switch uh, you can use switch here so short on the applied on the short order only so the first thing um, you can uh, check it here the short order the first time when your page render on your browser the first thing short order is the null so view data hold name descending but uh, the case is run on default so you can have to if your short order is name descending then students uh, that is a queryable data students equals to students dot order by descending you can use dot order by descending order by descending and uh, I mean to say that name wise descending so you can use it here a dot name okay break now if your short order have nothing I mean to say that then you can run default so the first time the short order uh, a, uh, having nothing value I mean to say that uh, null value okay so the default case will run students equals to student dot order by a of the name okay now the second time you can check when the first time short order is uh, nothing then view data hold name descending just opposite short order value is just opposite the view data value and also you can add ASP route short order the same name you can take it here uh, that name is exist in your uh, action parameter name like that is short order so just copy that and index.cshtml file and paste it here and in which you can take the view data value again I uh, I tell you that the view data value uh, is the different of the short order value okay the first time the short order uh, have the nothing value but the name mm, view data name order value have uh, name descending the second time the name uh, order uh, sorry uh, short order value have name descending but uh, the initialize again the nothing value of the short data so the uh, both are the different the first time is nothing but short name order of the view data hold name descending the second time the short order have the name descending value but uh, view data hold nothing value so both are the different in that case so according to that value the switch will run so the first time is uh, called nothing value I mean to say that default case 
and second time will hold uh, name descending value so according to this run it so thank you very much guys uh, for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and don't forget please subscribe my channel i favor uh, please 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 also share this video on your whatsapp on your uh, facebook accounts and twitter accounts uh, to promote my channel uh, if you uh, if you like this video and if you learn better uh, from my channel uh, Thank you very much for watching this video.